actually i used to have the same problem we cannot simultaneously develop both speed and accuracy at the same time you have to develop one first then the other it's better to develop accuracy first because that way you know what are question you attempted it's right then when you start slowly developing your speed you know like even if you attempt 20 questions all 20 are going to be right you're not going to worry whether it's going to wrong and you won't start panicking actually so to develop accuracy you should practice some question not just like any questions take some good 20 questions keep a timer for one hour and solve within that time and maximize the number of questions which are right slowly you can develop your accuracy then start developing the speed so this way you can get more marks on a regular basis okay and also like when you are writing the paper no like see you'll get some questions which are little tricky or tough and they will not allow you to move forward also and as a serious student serious aspirant you keep trying 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 5 minutes 6 minutes 7 minutes spending on that question so is it good to spend like that or there is what is the strategy that we have to follow whenever we come across such questions the thing about difficult and tricky questions is that for everybody it's going to be difficult not only for you so it's okay if you leave it but if you want to get like within top 100 or top 200 you have to solve it, two or three of them and the other thing about difficult questions like you can't identify in which section they are going to come from it's like can be like in the very beginning of the paper like the very first question or like the last one so it can't go from like easy to difficult question wise in the question paper you cannot say actually so it's better to do the easy ones first so that the by that like don't go like in the same order they have given choose the questions randomly like once you read the question you're going to know whether we can like i can do it or you can do it then do that question with like uh, see whether it will be like solvable in two or three minutes then do that question and check for the other questions also like once you read a question if you know it's difficult leave it come back at it or like after attempting all of them it's fine to leave hard question because for everybody it's going to be hard like this year if you see there were like uh, hard questions for 50 marks hardly and if you got like 310 you would have got all India rank 20 so it's not harmful to leave the hard questions okay so basically overall when the students are writing the examination so whenever uh, they want to maintain the speed accuracy and all and, uh, leaving the tricky questions and all so what is the final suggestion that now you give now you are talking directly about the ge advanced exam where 100 rank 200 rank now they are in the preparation stage some are in 9 some are 10 some are 11th so how should they take it up in their phase exams and other internal exams that they write because these are only mock exams no like pre preparatory exams yeah please like what i used to do for the speed and accuracy part is like once i do a question if i have a gut feeling that this one i'm going to make a mistake i just quick check get at that point itself because it's difficult to check like once you complete the paper you have to go through the same process again and have to search where you worked it out in the rough sheet my rough sheet used to be like very bad so it's better to check at that point if you have a gut feeling it's wrong it's going to go wrong and when you check it you may find a mistake you may not find a mistake but you will have the confidence that it's going to be right and coming to difficult question like i said i usually attempt it at the very end that time like once you come to the easy and hard questions you will have approximately one hour or 45 minutes you can get to like three or four of the hard questions so at the end you will be leaving like only one or two questions in the whole paper if you do it in the wrong way like if you start with the hard questions you will waste time like even if you get the hardest question in the paper like very first question and waste half an hour in it you won't be able to complete the paper and at the end you will be leaving like seven of the easy questions not the hard one easy question is the score scoring part 